I always do that. I always start muted. <laughs> um, let me restart that. Hello, everyone. Welcome for joining. Um, <laughs> Renuga, what's up, Disha? What's going on? Amari, hello, hello. Berend, yeah, we're back. You got the notification for once? Who got the notification? Who got the notification that we were live? Anthony, what's going on? What's going on with you, man? What's going on? Mary, you come. You got it. Hell yeah. Amari got it. Popo got it. Notive squad. Notive squad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, dude, Amari, I love it. You're bouncing back and forth between the, uh, uh, the, the Twitch streams and the, and the YouTube streams. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to ask if lead code today. Yes, one. You're gonna watch me absolutely fail at lead code. You're absolutely watch me fail at lead code. Last night I was streaming on Twitch, doing some lead code, and it was terrible. It was awful. I was absolutely like just like. I guess it was an easy question, but I'd never do it. Um, but yeah. Justin, do you get how to do pa pagination in JS? Honestly, pagination is one of those things where I'm just like, I don't know. I have to Google all the time about pagination, so I'd Google it, man. Do you answer questions in this live stream? Yeah, of course. If you answer or if you ask them, any competitive coding tips? I'm not a competitive coder, so I have no tips for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot. I cannot give that. I cannot give that. That is over my head. Completely over my head. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What currency is that? But glitch decks. Regardless, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you. What's up, you seen? Man, what was the first vanilla pro uh, JavaScript project? I think it was a... Uh... A task list, I think. I think it was a task list. Rupees, Indian currency. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope, skis. I have school papers to do. Got to go. All right, Renuga. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, man, man. My mans, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let. Uh. Lead code. Let me go on. Sign on to lead code real quick. What's with the dislike? I don't know. How many dislikes we got? How many likes do we have? We only have five. Mary, you just gotta build something. You just gotta build something. You just got to build something like anything, anything is popped on my recommendation. Oh, heck yeah. I didn't know things were like this were popping up on the recommendation. <clears throat> That's awesome. Explore. Yeah, if there's any tips that I have for you, like literally you can build anything, anything that you want a task, a uh, to do list. Uh, a calculator, some sort of game in the console. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can't even build a simple to-do list. Well, then uh, go follow a tutorial for it. Uh, pool of shit. What's going on? You have some high quality videos, man. GG. Thank you. Box doll. What's going on with you, man? What's going on with you? Um, uh, did you go with the 16 gig on the Mac mini? No, I did not. I went with the base model. I went with the base model, my man. Base model all day. Automated message. 
What's automated message? The, the, the what you sent? We're gonna let people funnel in. Why did my Discord not? My Discord didn't say anything. It didn't say I was live. Oops, edit message. My bots are not working the way that they should be. This is tilting. Tilting. Tilting! Okay. There should be the link in there. So we can cancel out of this. Alright, bet. What's going on, everybody? How's everyone's day? How is everyone's day so far? Or night, or wherever it is you're from? Where are we all from? Where are we all from today? Nigeria, Sri Lanka, UK, love from India, Algeria. What's up, Remy? What's up, Remy? Argentina, Switzerland. What's up, Mike? Florida, heck yeah. Nicaragua, Cali, Cyber. Cyber's back in, let's get it, let's get it. Houston, North Carolina, India, Nepal, Colorado. Dude, we're all over the world today. Roch watching from California, I love it, I love it. Guangzhou, nice, I've been there before. Algerian leak code. Finland, aka Winland. <laughs> SF Bay Area, that's where it's at, Cole. Okay, so you pretty close. You pretty close. All right, let me put this on do not disturb so uh, we don't get disturbed. Oops, that's not it. Uh, do not disturb. Okay, let's get into some leap coding. Or no. We want to do problems, not the introductions to arrays. So this is, wait, what am I doing? Oh, so we, we solved this one yesterday. Who was here? Was anyone in my, uh, was anyone in my, what's it called? Was anyone in my stream, my Twitch stream last night? Anybody? Philippines, yo, Justin, live server doesn't want to work and I want to cry. I mean, I saw that, but I don't know what to troubleshoot. Like, what is it? Is, are you getting an error? Did you follow tutorials? To I followed tutorials initially to build and then I started building my own stuff. Yeah, I was, but I had to leave early. I mean, all good, Cyber, all good. <clears throat> I want to get a job in the USA. I mean, it's not impossible. Maybe it's, it'll be hard right now because of COVID, but Antarctica. Anthony, are you really from Antarctica? That's kind of dope. It will not, it will just not open on my browser, man. Is it, is it on? Are you, wait, are you, what are you working on? <laughs> what are you working on? Like what language are you using? What project are you using? Oh, it's, it's making me do this again. In C++, uh, uh. I already know how to do this. An HTML file, we'll make sure do daily blogs, please. Uh, I don't know if I could do daily blogs. I'd be really busy for that. I would be really, really busy for that. Sorry, man. If I can, I can. If I can't, I'm sorry. Um, are you clicking go live on your index.html? And do you already have an instance of it open? JavaScript anywhere is good. JavaScript anywhere is good, my man. All right, let's, uh, let's, nothing of it is open, bro. I'm sorry, dude. You're going to have to look it up. I, I don't know. I can't help on that right now. What's up, Simon? What's going on, player? I wish I had this level of confidence, crazy. I mean, you can have the level of confidence. Just gotta 
Work on it. Django or Node, which is better? Uh, depends on where you're at. Depends on where you're at. Oh, someone said Chow Community. Let's make it. Okay. Actually, actually, hold on. Wait, can I move this over so I can actually like do my scenes? Hold on. Let me see if this works. Can I do this from here? Oh, why is it not working? Hold on. Guys, hold on. Uh. Yes, it works. Okay. Um, so speaking of community, what's up, Nicholas? Thanks for the stream chat. Any resources to practice before leak code? Um, honestly, I haven't really practiced anything. Uh, from the chat yesterday, people were saying that I should be learning, uh, or I should learn like time complexity, big O. But you know, from the people, I mean, I had someone who was a Microsoft engineer, software engineer come in and a bunch of people who are like actually good at like leak coding or, or leak code sorry and dsa dsa they like know it so well and they were so encouraging dude so encouraging when i was doing this and they were just like dude just go in and just like try to attack some of these problems and brute force some code and see what happens and then adjust accordingly if you get stuck look at the solutions and then like over time, you'll start to learn the, the, the patterns and some of these sub-problems and things like that. And over time, it'll get easier. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, that my, my best advice for that would just be to do it. Would just be to do it. Um, let's see. My college just emailed me and my major just officially changed from computer networks and cybersecurity to software development and security. Oh, nice. So I'm gonna start registering for class. How are you excited, Mike? What's up, Google Ads? Welcome back. What music you prefer while programming? Anything without lyrics. CS Dojo, it's good for interviews. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. I've seen a couple of this stuff. Hell yeah, Mike. That sounds exciting, honestly. That sounds really, really exciting. Really, really exciting. Oh, okay. How many people we have in the chat right now? Hold on. Let me move this over. Uh, we have 42. Okay, okay, okay. Who, if you guys are not in the Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat, and then you guys can get there. Yo, man. Love your live stream setup and interface. Brother. Yes, sir. Caleb. And the light music, Caleb. You, you already know, Caleb. Caleb, I'm out here. The production quality has to be on point. Has to be on point. What are the meaning behind your tattoos? So this uh, is uh, protection in a sense. Also, it's like a, it's a play. It's a play on the hierarchy of animals and kind of like what it is in life, right? Uh, but also relates to me personally a little bit with my signs. So there's a snake up here and there's a tiger down here on my forearm. And it's kind of like this play on um, a fight between <clears throat> the tiger and the snake where snakes are my most compatible human beings and tigers are not, I believe. So it's like a play on that fight right there. <clears throat> but also it's just like, I love those bo both those animals. Like they're also just, you know, very, very lethal in the, in the way that they kill. So it just reminds me to be aggressive and things like that. There's this one right here. This is a um, crane. I don't know if you guys can see the crane head, but this is the crane. So the bird crane with a lotus in the middle. And this one is for my grandpa when he passed away <clears throat> uh, two years ago, I think from now. So the crane represents him. He loved crane art. Any any kind of Asian art with cranes, he he really liked. So... I wanted to do that for him and he loved to garden. He loved to garden. So he was always outside, you know, pruning and things like that. So I got a lotus for him to symbolize the fact that he loved to be out in the garden and doing things. So that's that. And then I have one on my ribs. That is a foo dog that I got in Thailand. That one was more kind of a fun, but the meaning behind that too is that again, it's for protection. Foo dogs are very protective in, in uh, Irizumi art. So 
the food dog is there to just remind me, hey, you're protected. You've got family behind you um, and you don't got to stress, even though I will stress all day, every day. So those are the meaning behind my tattoos. I might clip that and save that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys. So yeah, if you guys haven't been on the discord, definitely do exclamation point discord in the chat if you guys want to join. But here's the topic that I want to talk about. So last stream, we unlocked two things and we've done one of them. We've done the among us stream, right? And we're going to continue to do that. I hope you guys enjoy that. Simon, I hope you got, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope some of you guys enjoyed watching it. I think I'm going to stream that more on Twitch than I will here because I think it makes more sense on Twitch. Um, wait, you're downloading. Did it come out? Oh, oh no, no. It comes out on the 10th though, Nico, right? Anyways, what's up, Ted? Um, anyways, for those of you that are in the community right now, right, are in the discord community. I've come up with an idea that I think is going to be awesome for everybody. Awesome for everybody, right? Also, I think we need to do some cyberpunk streams. I think that would be really, really fun. I really want to do that. I've been waiting for this thing all like ever since it got announced. So I'm kind of down. Um, we're going to be doing an open source project with the community, right? With everybody in the discord that we're going to be doing a project all together. And we're going to make it open source. Like I said, everyone can contribute. We'll have something where. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I just forgot to make you one. I forgot to make you one. Um, Yeah, everyone that's in the discord can contribute to it. It'll be on GitHub and people can like submit PRs and we can merge things that work well. I need to get some designs going. So the project, the most exciting project is. It's going to be a website for dev den. I need to figure out what exactly is going to go on it, but it's going to be a website dedicated for dev den. And I think it would be awesome for everyone that's in the dev den discord to make a website for us, right? There's no money involved. Like everyone just chips in when they can. It'll be HTML and CSS. So everyone can learn. And I think Danny's doing something similar with his community. So I'm going to talk to him. Um, and make sure like, obviously that it's okay that I do this and things like that. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. Um, I'll be doing more. I need to get some more. Yes. This is the project that everyone is supposed to work on. Not supposed to, you're not obligated. You're not obligated, but if you want to submit PRs and, um, get some experience in an open source project, boom, that's it right there. That is it right there. Hey, definitely want to. Yes, sir. I signed a contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help. Hell yeah. NDA. Uh oh, we got to get we got to get legal on this HR. HR, we got an HR department. Let's do this. Who's down? Like who's down? Can we get 50 likes? Can we get 50 likes and then I'll start like getting design work on this stuff or what? What's going on? What's going on? We're only at 20. Oh, we're at 25 now. Okay. Okay. I see you guys. I see you guys. This is going to be dope. Yeah, for sure. Is there any designers in the chat? Are there any designers in the chat? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. Let's hide the stream. I used to be me. Thirty likes, fifty, fifty. We got fifty. Come on, Ali. I'll stop playing. Look, if you guys have any friends that are designers or no design, switch to Java. What the heck? No. If I put this on my CV, will it be recognizable to other companies? I mean, yeah, you contributed to an open source project, one hundred percent. I don't see any reason why you can't. I don't see any reason why you can't. I right, watch that video later. This is that is awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be a cool. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Be excited. Pump it up. 
My CV be like, I added print hello world. So that's the thing is like, again, understand that not every PR is going to go into the project. He didn't even start. I already know he's going to fail lead code. Oh, 100%. Is there going to be a public brief about the site and what it should and shouldn't have polls for features? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm going to be doing. So once we get a design going, I'm going to have to see like what exactly is going to go in, what the community thinks should go in it. Like this is going to be fully like transparent and there I'm guessing I'm going to be doing like an open, like a public Trello board. So we know what tasks need to be, need to be done. This is going to be like for real, for real, like a for real project that people can do. Um, and you know, there will be a section on the discord where we can talk about it you know like what tasks need to go out and things like that and it's gonna be full-on communication hopefully it'll be cool right what's up joshua hopefully it'll be cool uh the the hardest part is getting the initial design obviously I'm th i think i'm gonna go on fiverr if i can't find a designer if i can't find a designer i'm gonna go on fiverr and um literally just find someone to do it and say hey can you make me a uh, a mock website really quick this one, this one leak code will take five hours. Oh, potentially, potentially you're not wrong. Okay. Can I learn by reading the source code? I really want to master web. Uh, I think reading source code helps a little bit, but it's not going to teach you everything. It's not going to teach you everything. All right, let's get into some questions here. So given an array nums, so nums is an array here in our function. We define a running. Can everyone see the screen? Like fine. I zoomed in. So hopefully that's like viewable. We define a running sum of an array as running sum i equals sum num zero nums i return the running sum. What is it? That's the thing is like some of these terms. I have no idea what they're saying. What's up, Cass? Welcome back to another uh, episode of Chow rips his hair out doing leak code. I'm glad you could make it back to another episode. Um, I hope this is enjoyable. I hope this is enjoyable. Dude, today I I was going to literally ask everybody what I was going to do on stream because I had no idea. I was I was going to do something in React and practice my um, TSS, but it was just like, yeah, I was doing leak code last night and then um, I was just, okay. I kind of want to do this. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I suck so much at leak code that I want to do more of it. Zerg Shannon, welcome back to the stream. Everybody, welcome in. Welcome in all the new peoples into the streams. Well, not new peoples, but returners, everybody. Welcome back into the stream. How's everybody's day? How is how are we doing? How are we doing? Did we like the video? It means you should return another array that has each element to be the sum of all the elements in the array minus each index. So what's my test case here? Oh, let me look at the example. I actually didn't read the example. You need to, I need to watch it. You need to watch what? So nums is given an array one, two, three, four. The output was one, three, six, and 10. So one, two, your new video. I don't have a new video. Not yet. At least <laughs> honestly discovered your channel like today and your quality is way beyond your subs. Thanks, man. I obsess, I obsess over quality. I obsess over quality and um, even if I'm like small, even when I was growing still, I, I obsessed over quality. So I, I think it's important, but quantity as well was important. Wait, wait, guys, 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 guys. If I understand that some of you guys might um, understand the answer, I'm going to ask for help for sure, but don't try not to try not to like push it on me. Does that, does that make sense? Like don't push. Don't push the, the, the solution onto me yet. I, I want to fail and try to figure this out. I'm going to ask for help. And if you want to nudge me in the right direction, that's fine. I, I'm not, I'm not going to take that away from you, but don't, don't try to like outright say, Hey, code this, code this, code this. 
Because I don't think I learned much from that. So, like, just... I Last stream on Twitch last night, I was like... I started at, like, 10 and I went to, like, 12. People were getting so antsy because they knew... They knew the answer, but I wasn't understanding it. I want to make that a YouTube video. I want to make that a YouTube video. But it's just like I was trying to figure it out, and then I eventually figured it out. What's LeetCode? LeetCode is the website here where you go on and you can do practice um, DSA problems or uh, interview questions. They actually have interview questions. So last night, I had... Tufik, what's up? I had a Microsoft software engineer in, in my chat on Twitch. And he was telling me that he used leak code to actually get his job at Microsoft. And he started a couple months ago. So he was like, if it wasn't for this, he wouldn't have his job at Microsoft. And he was showing me a question that he actually had in the interview. And I was like, dude, I have no idea. This is like rocket science to me. So much harder being on the spot trying to figure it out. Oh, 100%. But I, like, Rydian, Rydian. Wait, am I saying your name correctly? Rydian? Ridian? Ridian? But anyways, yeah, it's it's harder to be on the spot, but I think that's why I stream me in these situations, right? Like it forces me to actually, it forces me to actually understand and try to code it. Cause like, if I wasn't here, there's no accountability. Like I can literally just close out this question and I wouldn't do it, right? Like I want to be in these situations where people are seeing me fail. One, when are you going to start Andrew right now? Um, one, like, it one it makes me accountable so i'm like going to do this and two it shows people that like it's okay to like fail in front of people like i don't care that i'm failing in front of like 50 people right now i don't care like i'm learning something okay um so one three and six running sum is obtained as follows one one plus two one plus two three okay so First, you have to fail to become successful. Is this kind of question in interviews? Uh, yeah, for sure. I did an interview for Expedia for years, internship, but oh my god, the questions were, were doable, but the pressure was intense. Oh, I bet. Are you good at math? No. Okay, so we're going to do four var. I'm going to say, I'm just going to use var. I usually use ES6, but uh, this time I'm not going to do it. E I equals zero. So we want to loop over this initial array of nums here. So as long as I is less than um, nums dot length then we increase i right and i'm gonna be doing this in javascript so i'm sorry uh i took them down how hard what's up dylan cast what's going on what's going on four loops are always fun yeah for sure for sure always always fun so here wait right so if we console log it console log i i'll just get back i'll just get back oh wait what am i doing oh uh nums nums at the index of i right and if i run that every fit would help so one two three four okay So we're not, so this is going to be in each array. So maybe this, right? So I could say, um, var new R for new array equals empty array. And I'm going to value equals zero where should I learn JavaScript any recommendations honestly I recommend code Cadre. I love their curriculum I genuinely used it to learn it um, you can also use free code cam too but if you want to there is a link in code cat uh, to code Academy down below in the description if you want to check it out some of it's free some of it's not but I recommend code Academy so we're gonna do pre value
All right, Simon, have a good one. Yes, I started learning JavaScript and coding. I love it. Yeah, dude, Codecademy is like... Codecademy is it, guys. Algorithms, my favorite. Do you want tips? Uh, So, yes. Tips would be good because I'm, like, learning this. And I'm just, like, going off the cuff with how I think I should do it. If you don't tell me the outright answer, right? Like, I want to fail through it. Because these are things that I need to know and I need to study more of because I neglected it for so long. Um, and like, yeah, I just, I think this needs to be it. I, I think I need to fail through it. But yeah, if you want to nudge me in the right direction, absolutely. I would not, I would love that. What's up, Danny? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get to your, I'll get to the question, Drew, uh, after. But wait. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Can I use map in this? Map returns a new array, right? Defining the array in the loop override. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Define out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. That's right. I learned that yesterday. I don't know why I forgot that. Okay. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot because I had a question where it, we were, we had a variable and it would, it would, uh, initialize it every single time. Or reset it every single time on the loop. So yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, but this should be fine. This should be fine, right? So we're going to do new var. But wait. In the era of VS6, why are we using var? No, I know. I contemplated that. Last night I was doing it. But it, they just started out in var. And I'm like, okay, I'll just stick to the convention. I'd rather use let here. Let or const. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> I'm thinking about using map anyway, so I should probably just do it. Const this con. Uh, well, we'll just say let that. Usually I'd use const there. You've convinced me, Danny. You've convinced me. Right? Okay. <clears throat> so we have let pre value equals zero and we have a new array up there. I feel like I could use map here. I'm just going to do it first and then I'm going to do it this way first. And then see if I can optimize it later or if this even works. So we're looping over this and we're going to say. Um, prev value equals. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what I was going to do. So it's going to be nums. I. And then we're going to the array can be const even if you push in it. Yeah, I think that's the one thing with arrays is even if it's a const, it can still be mutated. Code Academy link in the description doesn't work. Wait, for real? Where does it put you? Where does it put you? Danny, Caleb, if you guys are here last night, I was streaming this on Twitch. And I had some uh, uh, engineers from like Microsoft in my in my stream. Uh, well, one of them was from Microsoft, but other others of them have have taken like the interviews and have done leak code and already, and they kind of they're already like better, right? And it was funny because they were nudging me in the right direction, and they were like shaking their fucking screens on the other end because they knew what the answer was, but I was stuck on something so simple, and it was just so funny watching like them get a little antsy in chat dude it was so funny it was so funny that's i think that's why i enjoyed leak code because the people imposter syndrome has entered the chat um look imposter sin for me anyways look imposter syndrome oh that's oh my god caleb that just i just came up with an idea just came up with an idea for that we should make imposter syndrome be like a night bot like the name of a night bot Oh, I heart. Yo, yo, yo. Bad merchant. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, If you're in the Discord, I believe it. I have I have it linked in uh, the resources tab then. Guys, if you want. Yeah, if, if you guys want it, I think the actual link that works is in the Discord. On the resources channel. 
Honestly, when I interviewed at Microsoft and was offered the job, that was everything I needed in life to know I'm a decent developer. Lol, I doubt it a lot. I still do, but that helped. Oh, for sure. That one shows it too, Jay. Oh, I don't think it's on my end then. I think it's on them. I think it's on Code Academy. Sorry, guys. I don't think I have another link. How's weather in your country, child? It's freezing cold here. It's cold here too, but it's not like freezing, freezing. I love the cold anyways. I'd rather it be cold. Okay, so pre-value equals the num of index i. Uh, and then we're going to say new r dot push um, pre-value. Oops. You can change a const array because the memory address stays the same when you mutate it. You're just changing the data inside. Yeah, exactly. That's like the one thing that people I feel like get confused about a lot is uh, the fact that const on an array can be changed. So, um, and here I'm going to console.log. I'm going to make sure that new array is getting my stuffs. Yes. Okay. So we're here. We're here now. So we're getting, we're getting the new array. Um, but now, so the thing is now that we have to, We now have to, so we have pre-value. You should sum the pre-value. No, no, that I under, no, that I know. Oh. Would that do it? Wait, no, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Does that work right here? I think you should return the value. No, no, I mean, I'm just console.logging it right now just to see what it, what's coming out. Are you, oh, well, I guess, yeah, you're, I guess you're right. I don't even need to console log it. I can just return it. Return new array. Yeah, that, I mean, I knew it was going to be the wrong answer anyways. Uh, but we need to sum it. Are you searching for optimal solution? No, not at this point. I'm just trying to make it work. Uh, I was thinking in creating an inside loop until the current value and putting the sum in a new array. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a lot going on in my mind. And there's a lot going on in chat. Pre value equals nums i plus new r minus one. New new r i minus one not a number oh idiot
Wait, is that even correct? No, that's not right. Yeah, I need to think about this. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> so we initiate previous value here. Previous value we set equal to the index, every index of nums for as long as nums.length is like true. And then we push that. We push that into new array. And then we have to add with the next one. So w would we do another loop in here? We loop in here to get J, right? Nesting separate loop should go from, go from zero to I and sum the nums. Yeah, nesting for loops is just like wild to me. I'm, I try to visualize all the time. You only need one loop. <laughs> Ugh, this is the one thing that I was dealing with. No nested loop. Yeah, I didn't think so. Like, I just need to add the next. Okay. I wish I could draw this. Um, like, I wish I had my iPad with me, but it's out of battery. Um, so previous value is holding our previous value. We push it. Well, we have to add. Should it be inside here? Okay, wait, hold on. Can we do this with one loop only? I feel like we can. Yes, yeah. God, Jesus Christ, this is exactly what's happening last time. I'm like getting like, oh man, I'm getting anxiety right now. No Christmas music this stream? I mean, it can be. So I was thinking of, I was thinking of moving pre-value out. What, uh, let me, well, let me see what that would do. Okay. So we're going to move it out and we're going to do here. And yeah, I had it as plus equals this. Oh, it worked. That's all I had to do. I had it right. And it had to be outside. That's it. I'm angry. I'm angry. <laughs> Why? Why does that work? Th this is the moment where I wish I had a voice changer so I could just like tap it and just get a like completely deep voice and just say I'm angry. I just don't understand. So. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, am I? I mean, I am. Uh, so we initiate a new array called new R and then we have a previous value. This is JavaScript. What? Wait, am I? <laughs> oh man. Okay, but so we have let pre value equals zero. So we initiate that variable and we can't have it let just pre value because it'd be undefined. Right. 
But wouldn't I have a copy of of the previous value I captured from the loop in new array, or does that reset too? That would would that reset too because pre value was inside the loop? Well, but when it was when pre value was inside i minus zero. Oh, that makes sense then. That makes sense. Hmm. Okay, let's test it with um. One, 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 one. I have five ones. Cool. Let's submit it. Well, that's it. Resetting pre value. Resetting p value inside every iteration. Yeah. I got no clue on what you're doing, but I like it. Next challenges. Best time this runtime 104 milliseconds faster than 5.02% of JavaScript online submissions for running some. Whoops. Uh, memory usage using cool. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Well, there's that. What's up, Umar? By the way, what's up, Dan? How you doing, man? How you doing? Let's see what happens. Oh, this is a medium. Yeah, no, let me back out of that. Good. That's awesome, bro. Codex. Hello. Hello. What's going on with you? I need to get dude. The leak code needs to give me my premium. <laughs> I, I sent an agreement over and we're doing a thing where uh, leak code is uh, sponsoring some posts and uh, they want to give out, uh, I think, 15% off discount for leak code as well for you guys. But they haven't given me that premium yet. Sad face. Sad face. Okay, that was that was good. I think I'm starting to get it down in, in like I'm starting to get patterns down. I'm starting to get the patterns down for sure doing some of these problems. Alan, what's going on, man? What's going on? What's going on with you? Uh you own a goal parser that can interpret a string. Oh, we're messing with strings now. Great. The command consists of an alphabet of G, parentheses, and or AL. In order, in some order, the goal parser will interpret G as the string G, parentheses as a string O, and AL as the string AL. The interpreted strings are then concatenated in the original order. Given the command, given the string command, Return the goal parser's interpretation of command. Okay. Output goal. Okay, so I understand. Um, can someone explain to me what the constraints mean? Last night, I kind of understood what they were from what someone explained, but I actually don't know. Are these the things that like, so like command dot length is, or less, can't be less than or equal to one or greater than or equal to a hundred? Use hash maps. I still have to study that. Like I'm not really like well versed in that. Um, okay, so the goal parser interprets command as follows. So G is G. There's so you know. I'm on lunch break. Screw it. I open leak code and we'll do this problem. Heck yeah, Danny. Let's get it. Let's get it. There's so you know what to check for edge cases. Oh, okay. 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 Gotcha. 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 Okay. That makes more sense. All right. Dope. Okay. So every time you see a string, oh, Wow, how do we do that? Okay. So any the only thing that changes here is the parentheses. Um what oops. I didn't mean to click that. So we're given goal as a string. So if I console.log, I would just have goal. Huh. 
<laughs> so I for sure have to Fuck. Yeah, I neglected string uh, like the all the string methods. All right. <laughs> Am I allowed to go on MDN right now and look something up? Is that okay, chat? Is that, is that appropriate? Yes, sure, yes. I'm getting, I'm getting yeses. I'm giving, I'm getting authorization. Okay, cool. JavaScript string methods. Everyone does it. Well, during leak code questions, I, I wanted to like try and figure it out, but right now I'm just like, I need like a, why am I in W3? No, I want MDN. Um, MDM the goat. So there's replace. Quick round round dot dot dot. Const regex equals slash dog slash gi. Console log dot. You don't like W3? I do, but I, I'd rather, like for JavaScript stuff, I'd rather go to MDN. I feel like the docs are just a lot better. I guess you could do that, right? So you could do dot replace. So we're replacing if the, so we're replacing ferret with dog here. Wait, run. W3 has a bad reputation and that's kind of like that what looms in the back of my mind whenever I see W3. Um, I'm just like, mm, I don't know. Like I use W3 a lot with CSS. Like that's like kind of a thing. Trim. Um, what's the thing with? Tr I think this is almost a situation of dot includes and then replacing it. Good for reference, not really for learning. Yeah. Dot includes. Really? I wasn't really thinking of dot includes. So const sentence is our sentence const word equals fox. Console.log the word. Okay, I can do that too. Okay, so let's do let's do const um Const string equals command. Wait, I can just go. What well, you just do if statements here, right? Like those are the cases. In this case, like we're just looking for three different strings. The hardest one I think is going to be the AL one with the parentheses around it. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, so I don't know if that's what I want to do though. So const paren equals a string of this. That would be, that would be.
Can you just hard code that? Like, I'm just going to brute force it anyways. So const al equals... Wait, well, what are some of the cases here? Yeah, it's always paren al. So you can say like string of this al. We need to pair program sometime. That would humble me so much, Caleb. That would humble me so much. <laughs> I'm already like seeing that now. I'm just like, oh, God. Ugh. I better be prepared. I'm a newbie. Caleb, what do you mean you're a newbie? How long have you been coding? I swear to God, if this man says 14 years, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> Only 27 years. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Jake. Kayla, yeah. I want to learn more about your background. So const out equals out. And I think G. Oh, it's string of G. But what's the cases on G? Like, I don't think we need to do anything with G here because G will always come back as a string of G. Uh, well, let's just do it anyways. Const, const G equals a st string of G. Well, t the dot to lowercase, right? Or, well, no, it would need to be, uh, G's will always need unimportant distraction, it seems. No, 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 no. Never unimportant distraction. What? No, 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 no. Okay. I, this, this already looks terrible. I'll catch you on another live. All right, Jordan, have a good one, my man. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Caleb, what's your, uh, what's your main, um, Language are you JavaScript? Are you self-taught? So then we can run so let me just separate these two just in case so now we have all these separately so we say So in here they did a temperate literal in the console log so I said the word Python now started self-taught essentially ended up doing essentially ended up going to school for CS. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. What made you want to take the plunge to go to school? Wife and mom said I had to. Oh, understood. Understood. I had this question on the Q and a, but what is your one word you would What is one word you would describe yourself? One word. Worker. That's my one word. I'm a worker. I love to work. I was going to say hard worker, but I feel like if you're a worker, you're a hard worker anyways. Okay, no, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. So there's going to be a lot of strings involved. I feel like, so the one thing I know for sure is concat's going to be in there. Concat. Concat is definitely going to be in there. I think. So we check to see, look at replace all. Okay, 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 okay. Replace all. <sighs> uh, so you know, replace is definitely going in there. I'm trying to see where it fits. So we console.log p dot replace all regex looks to be so regex has dog. Wait, okay. And the word we're looking to replace is ferret. 
The quick round hawk stones over the lake. Oh, no, no. We're looking to replace dog, replacing it with ferret. Replace all dogs with monkey. I mean, what's the difference? Oh, all dogs. Oh, does replace only only replace the first item in the string? Yes. Okay, so replace all is going to be it. So then we say const. Can you put multiple variables in it? Let's see it. Hold on. So there, no, right? You can't. No. Huh. I'm like, I'm like having solutions in my head because like we have three different, three, di three different cases we need to look for, right? Like there's three different kinds of things. Let me just see. So const new string equals string dot replace all. And let's just say we're looking for paren first. If paren's in there, then we want to replace it with a string of O. And um, let's console.log new string. And let's see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh... I don't know if you could tie them all in there like that. I honestly, I wanted to go back to school. F I wanted to go back to school for CS and wife encouraged me to as a backup so I could go all so I can go all in on YouTube with less risk. Oh, interesting. Wait, explain that. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Why do you say that going to school? Oh, I see. Because you have a degree of CS behind you, so it's like easier for you to get a job, I'm guessing. Is that safe, uh, fair to say or safe to say? Wait, what is going in? Test case. Essentially, yep. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, wait, what? Uh, maybe don't put them in as... Why is there G... What does GI mean? Like, is that a... Can someone explain that? G is global match. Oh, gotcha. You can use a nested if else statement. That's exactly what I was kind of thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. But why can't I use replace all? You can use replace all. Would you? Sorry, just another tip. No, 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 no worries. The tips are fine. The tips are fine. But it's not coming back a string. What <laughs> is leak code JavaScript framework? No, leak code is the website that we're on right now. 
Okay, guy. Okay, guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can't use it because it's not a string. Is two string is a thing, right? Um, um. Server error. Dope. Dope. Um, I've been using code words lately since I like that platform, but hacker rank is what I usually suggest since most companies find their questions there. Parentheses have special meaning and regular expressions, so I think you need to escape them using backslash. Oh. Like this? Is that how you escape it? Um, but so why am I getting it? Not even hearing him. Can you guys not hear me? Oh, well, I don't even know if I'm going to go for this right now. I can hear you. Yeah, we hear him fine. All right. You are awesome, dude. I always watch your videos. Keep doing your job. Good luck. I'm watching you all the way from East Africa. I love your videos. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, new here and new to my own dev journey. That's awesome, Cindy. Signing up for Lead Code now. Yes, Caleb. Yes. Yo, what's up, Sarah? What's going on? How's your day been? How's your day been? Can I call two? Sh I'm, I'm just curious now at this point. I'm just curious because we have string. So we're going to say dot two. Wait, was that it? Yeah, two string. OK, let me just Jesus Christ. Just comment that out for now because Well, it didn't output the string. It's been okay for me. Did some work. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, this one's a difficult one. Okay. So Danny dot said, or Danny dot said, look at listen, listen to me say speaking English literally in in methods. Oh my God, Danny Danny said dot includes is going to be in this right. Like, oh, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that too. I was like, oh my God, it looks amazing. So I don't even know if, let me, let me get rid of this too. And let me say, let me just say command and see if it comes back as a string now. Love your videos, but when are you releasing a new podcast? Uh, today or tomorrow, I think I will be releasing a new podcast. Uh, cool. Command equals replace all. No, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. Like just to try it out. So, I mean, well, wait, what did I get back? But it's not a str watch console.log. We're going to say command dot replace ooh, replace all right. And we're going to replace all of the parentheses with O's. That's what it asked for, right? Like that's, that's what we're looking for. I don't even know if that's going to run. Is it there's something wrong? So command. 
You need to split every letter and then replace. Oh. Let me read up on split. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm a bot. I'm a bot. I'm a bot. Okay, so we're going to say... So command dot split and oh splot split. And I can just say that and it'll give me my copy. So let me just make sure. So I'm going to do string as my console log. And I have an array of the string. There you go. Wait, but how do you? Oh wait, I'm doing it. <laughs> Stupid. No wonder it looked weird. These are all easies. These are all easies, but to me, they're not easy. Oh, no. So no space on the uh, asterisk here. Okay, so we get every character now. Oh, man. Yeah, see, okay, I don't want to split the characters. So let me add that split there. Oh, I don't even need it. So your string is now an array for sure. Do you have a Discord so I can join? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a, if you do exclamation point Discord. Exclamation point Discord and you'll get in. What you doing, Justin? I'm doing some leak code problems, like practicing uh, interview questions because uh, I suck at them. And I haven't, I've been neglecting it all this time. So. So we have split down. <clears throat> and it's now an array. So we're probably going to have to loop over this thing and check check each right like that would be it so let's just delete this for now um i'm just gonna go uh, i'm gonna delete this for now i don't think i need it right now okay so we have we have our string and that's good you ended up streaming last night right i didn't just loosen it yeah, yeah i was streaming last night i was doing the exact same thing last night exact same thing last night Aren't you supposed to use algorithms to solve these? And that's the thing is I don't know them. <laughs> I haven't studied. I'm kind of just going in it without like any, any, uh, previous knowledge. Okay. Cause I woke up at like 11 ish and was like, this dude is streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I was still streaming. I think I was, I was like, streaming till 1 AM. Uh, try to use stack or queue. To, like Raghu, those are the things I actually don't know. Uh, Chow, you should try to command dot replace instead of replace all. Wait, why though? Wouldn't replace all make sense in in the in in case like we get multiple?
replace all is not defined as a function here. So you can pass slash G in the replace string at the end. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm like getting like mixed. I'm getting mixed signals right now. I'm getting mixed signals. I'm primarily a PHP programmer, so JS is a bit new to me, but still regex. Regex would active what you achieve what you are looking for with the least amount of code. Okay. I'm thinking of mapping over. the string because the string is now an array i know what regex is starting to churn starting to churn so i can forward to 3090 good god do you, Chow, uh, do you and Caleb know each other? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know each other from, oh, I know Caleb from our, our programmer YouTube's Discord. And I always see him on Twitter and I see him on YouTube as well. Didn't try to be mean or something? No, no, no. I know you, man. Command equals command dot replace all. Uh oh. But that's getting overwritten every single time. Right? I don't know if that would work. Jez, I know you. I know you. But if I split it so now it's an array. But initially command is not a string. So do I have to... Const new string e equals string dot map. Would I map over this? Let me just console dot log i real quick. E I I can just do I and J, that doesn't matter. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm sure Danny's done with this already. So I don't want to look at the solution. I want to figure this out before I look at the solutions. Like I really, really like I'm struggling now for sure, but like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to see anything until I have it. So we're going to loop over every I. Ricky is streaming. Yeah. Yeah. She told me. She told me. Oops. Sorry. Um, okay, so I don't even know where the zero is coming from. Hold on, Alan, Alan, Alan. 
I don't want to, I don't want to see that right now. I don't want to see that right now. I, I want to like solve it on, on the way that I think I'm going to solve it. Like I appreciate like the help, but I'm not, I, I want to like try to figure this out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not trying to like cap on you or anything. Like I, I genuinely just want to just like try and figure it out. Um, if you want, like, like I was saying to the chat earlier, if you want to push me in the right direction, that's awesome. But don't give me the solution outright. Like, I'm not going to learn if I just keep getting solutions from chat. I, I need to, like, figure it out and struggle through this. So I'm going to be stuck in a problem that I'm sure most of you guys know. It's not solution. Oh, no, no, for sure. But it's still, I feel like it's not just like a tip, but it's more like, hey, do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? So I'm not going to go with J. So we say if J... Oh, not J, sorry, I, is equals to G. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm solving code challenges as well. I just bought Algo Expert to set up my game a bit. Will be kind, been watching that for a few days, see how much better I can get at this stuff. Yeah, for sure. And that's what some of the people were telling me um, before. Can I say I? Shrink. I is just the value. Can I call contains? Or no. Includes. Can I call that though? Includes. Oops. Yeah, uh, oh my god. Okay. Then we console.log. Oh. Oh. Dang it, Caleb. <sighs> You're right. Wait, what? Wait, are you ask legitimately asking how it works or are you trying to like nudge me in the right direction? Legit asking winky face. So <laughs> so this looks like uh, kind of like a for each in a sense, but map returns an another array. So I don't think that yeah, I think that doesn't really Yeah, I think it's starting to point me out of using map. It's straying me away from using map because it seems. Except concat. Wow, dude, I'm like legitimately stuck on this. Corny, but when in doubt, for loop it out. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think a new string would work. Regex. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> okay, fine. It's boggled my mind for 20 years. Caleb, talk to me. How do you get the replace all working? For each is better. I was looking, I was 
like in my mind thinking about for each let's get the replace all working i uh caleb where you at brother where you at i'm throwing out a lifeline throwing out a lifeline here try again with replace all i just managed to solve it Ooh. Right. While Caleb types his answer, I'm going to try there. How's the leak code going? What's up, Wilpar? Uh, the leak code's going awful. But we're, we're, we're making do. We're making do. I'm, like, trying to study. As long as I is less than... Uh, string. Uh... Yeah, and I've never, I haven't studied anything like this, right? Like, this is like my first time essentially just going into a blind. And I know I need to do that. Okay. Let's get rid of this. So, command... Oh, replace. Uh, slash G slash G. Wait, test. Oh. <clears throat> Don't tell me. Can I just keep chaining that? Oh, because G means global, right? Yeah, see, that's what I was going to do. So then I can just keep going like, can you just keep doing that? Like, hold on. Okay, so command dot replace. Do I have to do that for every single one, though? S slash. Can I do this? Is that a thing? Oh, you have to keep doing dot replace <clears throat> on this like that. Um, and then we're going to replace it with an O. Undefined what I do wrong. Do I have to escape something? How do I escape it? Oh. Like that? Do the escaping stuff? I'm just like, what? Huh? It didn't work. Hey guys, it didn't work. This, it stopped working after this one. Oh, idiot. Because <laughs> I deleted my console.log. <laughs> ah, funny times, funny times. Funny times. I'm a funny guy. I was just joking. I was just joking, guys. Come on. You thought I was for real? You thought I was for real? Come on now. 
I was just making sure you guys were here. I was just making sure you guys were here. You feel me? <laughs> you know, like making sure you guys were awake. Good. Like, good. we're all here. We're all right. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Okay. And then we're going to replace one more time. And we're going to say, what was the other case? So how would you escape this though? So backslash parentheses backslash is that what we did there and then we have to do another backslash again Yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. Wait, yeah, let me try it then. Do I need to escape anything here? with uh ale i mean let's just see if it works okay almost backslash backslash there it is okay all right and then we're just going to return this Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Look at that. Look at that. Understand it all before moving on. Okay. We're going to try to explain this. This isn't going to work for all test cases, though. Let's try it. Let's try it. Hold on. So let's input this. Run the code. Works. Work. So far for the examples, it works. So I'm going to call that a win. I'm going to hit submit and then we're going to talk about it. Or like I'll try to. Faster than 100% of JavaScript online submissions. <laughs> That's craziness. Okay. <clears throat> I think, so... Here we're calling down, we're, we're taking down the parameter command. And we're going in it and we're saying, replace... Each call to replace returns a string, so you can add another function call to the end. Okay. So... It's not, oh, oh well. Uh, so we say command.replace and then the regex here, like, so can someone like better explain this to me? Like I know the G means global. So it's like, in a sense, it's, we're doing a replace all on the whole sentence. Cause globally we're looking for G, right? Like throughout the whole uh, uh, command. It's pointless for sure. I kind of just left it there just to like, Make sure I can read it correctly. Like, I'm sure if I went through. Like, I could just do this. And it would do the same thing. Yeah, it'd be fine. Why is this so hard? Because it is hard. Every time it matches that regex pattern is going to globally replace it, replace every occurrence. All I know is that the uh, forward slash at the beginning and the forward slash G at the end works as a replace all because replace all is not wildly supported. Okay. I think I, I think I'm just like not understanding the, I don't know really how to escape things, but now I'm like starting to understand it. Uh, 
I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. It's immutable as cons, but not as let or var. Yeah. So here, so we go in through command and we say for every instance of parentheses, we replace it with O. And then for every instance of parentheses, AL parentheses, you replace it with AL and then you go and then you return it. So I feel like I don't know why. Again, I think it's easy to overlook. Is it fair to say that's easy to overlook something as simple as this? Like it took me a while before I even like got to the solution. Oh, okay. That makes sense. They have to go behind anything that could be interpreted as JavaScript syntax. Understood. I'm going to have to read up more on uh, regular expressions because that's something that I think is like completely over my head at this point. Such as a curly brace. Understood. Understood. Dude, the, the great thing about this is, is like I get to document now what my weaknesses are and move uh, and uh, work on them in the future. Like now I can just go back to this VOD and write down that, hey, what's your weaknesses? Okay. Regex and uh, <laughs> escaping things. But dude, uh, let's, heck yeah, dude, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, this auto complete. Oh, of course it's with premium, but I don't have it yet. So I pressed the, an I pressed the answer so far. I'll chip back for the next one. No, Caleb, don't worry. Like sometimes if I get stuck, like it's fine. It's cool. Like I'm cool with that. But now like I better understand it. I better understand it. I just don't want every question. You know what I mean? But I appreciate it. Okay. Here, let's move on to the next one. I'm enjoying this. Like, even though I'm not doing well, I'm enjoying this. Like, I'm learning things. <laughs> when are you going to do more React stuff? Uh, very soon. Very soon. Very, very soon. I think I'm going to practice my CSS in React because I miss React so much. <laughs> I miss React so, so much. I was earlier today um, on stream before I even got on. I was going to... What was I going to do? I was going to template out, like, a React template on github so that anytime i needed to instead of doing create react app i could just like fork that repo and work on something that has like some of the plugins and stuff that i need already like axios or um uh styled components or something like that let your cat play on your keyboard that's how regex works <laughs> jesus still googling regex uh regex is super powerful once you dig under you could do this whole thing in one string if you understand regular expressions gotcha Caleb, dude, Caleb is here, like, helping out, bro. Like, he's killing it, dude. I enjoy having Caleb here. I love it. I love it. Danny, did you, how how fast did you solve that solution? Because I'm just now getting done. And uh, I, I want to I wanna cuddle up in my bed and cry. Like, that was horrible. Yeah, Got to get back to work, actually. We should def tag team some problems later. I, dude, Caleb, I'm down. I'm down. Just hit me. You have me on Discord, brother. I'm down for that, but thank you for stopping by. Thank you for helping out, Caleb. I really do appreciate it, dude. I really, really appreciate it. It's awesome having you in here. You, Danny, anybody, dude. It's it's awesome having you guys here. Literally, I get to learn so much from you guys because you're so much better than me. You're so much better than me. And I'm like progressing so much faster, especially if we tag team, dude. Oh, man. Dude, that would be awesome. Regex is a problem because every time I take a couple months to learn it, I will be a pro and then I don't use it for months and then I forget it all. <laughs> it just looks like so much of a beast. Oh, making it big. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Kids with the greatest number of candies. <clears throat> Given the array candies and the integer extra candies. So we have an array of candies and integer extra candies where candies I represents the number of candies that the I kid has for each kid. Check if there is a way to distribute extra can candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them. Notice that multiple kids can have the greatest number. Of Wait, okay. I think I understand it. Okay. So candies equals an array of all these numbers. Extra candies is three. We want to output true, 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 false, true. Explanation. Kid one has two candies. If he or she receives all extra candies, three will have five candies. The greatest number of candies among the kids. 
Kid two has three candies. If she, he or she receives at least two extra candies, a lot bigger than the number of candies among the kids. Okay. <clears throat> let cat let greatest uh, greatest number or greatest num equals zero. I'm just like jotting down like some things to see where my thought process is gonna go. Cause I kind of understand it, right? Like we're gonna loop over this for sure. And we have extra candies <clears throat> that we can compare or that we compare to. I'm guessing, what did it say? For each kid, check if there's a way to distribute extra candies among the kids. Among the kids? So what we would say is we're going to add the kid with the greatest number here. Or no, no, hold on. Let me comment that out. I'm just going to use that as a reference, but we're outputting true, 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 false, true. Greatest number. Extra candies will have the greatest number. Kid three has five candies and this kid is already the greatest number of candies among the kids. <clears throat> I understood. I'm like still trying to wrap it around. I'm like slow. I'm really slow at understanding some things. Like, yeah, of course, largest number of the array is five. So if you add three to each. It's going to be equal to or greater than five. Okay. So we're going to say, so four let I equal zero. We're going to loop over this. Um, and as long as I is less than can't candies dot length, we're going to increase I right. Simple for loop. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't give out, don't give out the solutions just yet. You can give out tips, but I really, really want to like try to solve this. I want to work through it. Like I'm going to talk it out loud. If I say something wrong, then call me out, but don't give me like the outright solution. Um. Okay, so we're looping over this and we're going to get each number. But for each number, so if can if candies dot if candies i is greater than greatest num greatest num equals candies. I and uh, what block am I in? So I need to be out here console.log greatest num. So that way I have a uh, greatest equals zero. Oh, whoops. I changed it here. Idiot. Why am I getting a server error? Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's just like a typo or something. But so now we have five. Right? So we have the greatest number. Kid one has. What are we doing here? 
So for each kid, check if there's a way to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them. So then we would say, what's up, Zach? How are you? How are you, brother? How many hours do you spend coding every day? Uh, recently, it's been about two-ish hours. Two-ish hours, I would say, give or take. Excellent, my guy. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. You ready to watch me struggle through some leak code questions? Uh, I see you hitting those toy problems now. Yeah. I mean, I was doing them last night on Twitch and then I just got, I'm getting kind of hooked on them because I know I need to know these anyways. So I'm like, okay, I'll, uh, I'll try to do this. Um, okay. So we have the greatest number now, but now we're going to use some, we need to do something else in order to check that. Right. They're fun, but I don't think I need to create a var. Right, because if I console.log extra candies, I just have access to the number of candies. So I can maybe go in here. I can go in the loop, right? And just add. So we have to. It's got to return true loop over again. I don't think I need to loop over it again. I can, I think I can just do it in this first loop. I've actually done this same problem actually. Damn. It's interesting for sure. Okay. So we want, we, I think I can put in a variable. O N plus N is just fine. Don't be afraid of it. Wait, can, can you actually explain what that means? Like I have a general, very, very like minute understanding of like big O and time complexity and all that stuff in space. And I don't know what N plus N means. O of N is one loop that I, so yeah, I knew I, what I knew is that the number increases for however many loops you have in your, in your thing. Oh, oh, N plus N is two loops. See some people in my chat is a nested loop. Oh, okay. So that's where we were getting something wrong. So N squared is a nested loop. is two consecutive. So N plus N would be if I had another for loop outside of, the, of this for loop, right? Gotcha. Okay. Understood that I know now. All right. All right. That makes so much more sense. We were getting so confused last night and I was just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> People are saying N squared N plus N like, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. Okay. Understood. That makes so much sense. So, but you were saying, don't be afraid of N plus N. So we're going to have another, oh, okay. So we're definitely going to have another array. Just came from Ricky's stream. How was Ricky's stream? Wow, I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of stuff about Big O, and I'm just like, yeah, I need to read more on this. Loop, oh, Suleiman, I, I I like want to read that, but I know I shouldn't. Uh, I just solved this the other day. Whew. All right, the time complexity is substantially greater in a nested loop. It can be. It can be the difference between running 2000 computations versus 2 million in a single function as a rough example. It is good. Just her Mac is dying. Oh shit. Is it actually, is it just like overheating or something? Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to re read up on Big O later. Would you? Would we? S no. So greatest. Okay. So let's say uh, uh, new R equals an empty array. Let's do that. N plus N is perfectly fine in interviews. That's why I said don't be afraid of it. Okay, sick. That's good to know. That's good to know. It is frying. Oh, God. Please do this tomorrow as well. It's 1 a.m. Good night, man. All the very best. All right, man. Take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing this a lot more often. I'm definitely going to have to balance this out with like my front end stuff and then this because I know this is very, very key in learning. Like I have to know this. It's very interesting. Yes, it's very, very interesting. OK, so we have a new array. And so here we check to see if candies is bigger than greatest. Greatest equals candy. Um, what we're also going to do is. Did my Streamlabs just crash? What? What was that? Okay. Um, so if n plus n, n plus n is two consecutive loops. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then we're going to say new r dot push um, candies i, maybe? And then uh, instead of greatest, let me uh, console.log new R as well. Okay, so we have our new, we have our array here. And so he said, don't be afraid of O N plus N. So instead of that, so outside of this for loop, we're gonna have another for loop for let J equals zero. Um, as long as new, oh, as long as J is less than new R's dot length, we're going to increase J and there we're going to compute. just a map function see I was thinking the same thing I was thinking I could map over it but I just wanted to like brute force it now and see how better I could have optimized it later like this is initially what I was thinking any like kind of so we're looping over the new array and we're gonna say um, new r new r j and we're gonna add it to extra candies right let's um all right ragu thanks for stopping by let final equals new rj plus extra candies so you're doing good bro all right <laughs> dude yesterday i would i had a uh I had a guy, I, I keep saying this, but I had a guy that's a newly employed software engineer at Microsoft. And he was telling me the exact same thing. He was like, dude, you're good. Like, don't even trip. Like you're going to be struggling a little bit with some of the terminology and stuff. And like over time, I'll start to figure out the patterns in some of these sub problems and then I'll put it together and I'll be better at this. So hopefully, hopefully that happens. But so far, this is going to be somewhat cringy for a lot of people. Um, better to have bad code that works than code that doesn't work at all. This is true. Hint, I like sort in this situation. Yeah, I'm, 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 th I'm going to think about some of the better ways to optimize it right after this. So we have final, which is the new array plus our extra candies. And then I think we're going to go in and we're going to compare. If it's greater than the number of candies, right? Such that he can have greater than or equal to. So if...
What's up, Bruno? <clears throat> Even code that isn't as performant, that's more readable, is better for maintainability. Oh, for sure. As Tech Lead told everyone. So if final is greater than or equals to greatest, what do we do? Wait, but it has to, but new R needs to, oh shit. New R has our values. Do I need to put a new array and then return that? See, this is where I think map would have been better. Yeah. So let me just do it. Then I would return true. Right. Else return false. Um, and then we need to say let final r equals another empty array and then we're going to should I say return true or I'm going to push true probably push true Uh, final dot or final r dot push and then we're going to put in true else final r dot push and we're going to put in false and then outside of the loop we return final r Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! I don't know how much help I got, but I mean, it kind of makes sense now. I can see myself getting a little bit better. Nice! 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 Yeah! We're getting better! We're getting better! Um... Look up math.max. JavaScript MDN. Okay, so thanks, man. Uh, math.max function returns the largest of the z zero or more numbers given as input parameters with the spread operator. Oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, so let me uh, let me submit this first and see what our solutions are. My tips would be sort problems by difficulty and start with easy ones. Try studying common patterns you can use to solve them. Also, be aware of your time complexity, but focus on finding solution first. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing is um, doing all the easies first and then doing that. Okay, so Let's think about this now. So I know about math.max now. I know about math.max now. But I want to make this better because we're at O N plus N. But O of N is obviously like better right makes you remove yeah that's what i was thinking oh n plus n is o of n oh interesting gotcha okay so that's why he was saying is easy to solve these questions in Java than JavaScript low, but yeah, even my solution used the math.max. Okay, I just didn't even know about math.max. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. Understood. But is that like Okay. Dude, there's so much I have to read up on. Jesus. Okay, so let's like fix this now. Or like let's make this a little better. So with math.max now. 
Like there's so many other method methods that I need to know. So we're gonna save greatest, but what does greatest return? Okay, so it just returns a number. So we're gonna let greatest equals candies dot math dot max. Can I call that? Oh, well, it's a lowercase, but. Oh, no, no, on the array, on the array. Whoops, I wrote that wrong. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't, don't yell at me, don't yell at me, don't yell, don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Okay, and then we will comment this out for now. And, um... comment it all in log okay hold on um so we have the value of let of greatest now one step at a time lol chat what's up what's up kg so we didn't need this anymore but we pushed new array so i don't think we need new array anymore right we because mm, i have the value of max candies now and we're going through here and we're We're, hold on, I'm thinking through this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so for let j equals, I, this is where we got the final number of where we added it to, and then we compared it to greatest. So maybe we can say const, um, const add. Equals. Candies dot map and then for every candy Oops, I wrote that wrong. Wait, I don't I don't need it because I have only have one parameter. That's right All right, so in this one candies up so over every candy we're gonna say We're gonna say Yeah, we don't need new r anymore so we can get rid of that i think i can get rid of this now um so all we need is final array oh no 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 we don't no we don't need final array anymore because then we can say uh let so we're gonna say let final equals candy candy plus greatest and then we do our check here so if so we just uh, add it there oh god oh god oh my god relax buddy okay let's get rid of this here we don't need this loop so const add equals candies dot map but add is our array now right that is our array, so I don't even think I need this push anymore. So I can, oh, maybe I do? Do I need that array? Because it returns the array. Add would be our new array, right? Yeah, re add returns a new array. So would I would just return true? Yeah, I think so, right? Return true, and instead of push here, we're going to return false. So let's try that, and then let us... So let me comment out final R, and then let me return... Let me return add, and see what happens. Return... Unexpected token dot... Oh, I forgot one. wrong answer if final is greater than or equal to greatest oh idiots I'm adding greatest I should be adding extra candies yeah 
Yay! We made it better! One loop! One loop. Let's submit it. Dude, hell yeah. And we made it faster? Bet, brother, bet! <laughs> yeah, dude! Wait, what? You could remove the final variable as well. Oh, can I just say Kenny plus equals? Will? Let's get it. Wait, just check the condition rather than set it like the in the if. Oh, so like, would it would it be this? Oops. So if candy plus extra candies like that. Can I do that? Okay, well, we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, it works. Dope. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, there you go. That's crazy, dude. I'm learning so much about this stuff, bro. Dope, dope, dope. Kid in a candy store. Kid in a candy store. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Sick. That's exciting. That is what I came up with. Look at you, bro. Great job. Yeah. Technically two loops though. Math.max may be optimized in JavaScript internally. There's a stream about anything. There really is. Danny, I'm learning things, bro. Yeah, I submitted it already. We're good. We're good. What's our runtime? 80 MS. We're good. We're good. We increase. We're, we're taking like 0.1 less memory, but decreased by 20 MS. So we're all right. We're okay. I like this, bro. I like this. This is fun. All right. I think I got time for one more. One more. Oh, shoot. Shuffle the array. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Dan, yeah, technically two loops for sure. For sure. All right. I need to open my door. It is getting so hot in my room, guys. It's like blazing in here. Blazing. Like I'm starting to sweat. Weird you solved this one today. This exact one right here, the shuffle the array. My guy... Like, he just broke his door. No, no, it makes that noise. My, my door is kind of weird. Given the array nums consisting of two N elements. What does that mean, two N? In the form X1. Did you have your coffee yet? Just an eye caffeine. I didn't have coffee today. Did you have your coffee? I'm having a Red Bull right now. Gee. Raphael, brother, where were you? Where have you been? Where have you been? Drink my coffee right now. Uh, coffee sounds like very fitting. About to get some coffee though. Should I just get another Red Bull and just Zeke out right now? Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Hold on, I'll be right back. Be right back, my beautiful friends.
Let's rage. He's gone. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, oh no, you're all good. You're all good. You're all good. How much garbage should I know before starting leak code? Um, as long as you understand the basics, I, I feel like. Uh, once I drink this Red Bull, guys, I might lose my mind, so. Wait, we're only at 74 likes? Hold on. Wait, guys. Guys. What's happening here? We're only at 74 likes? Can we get to 100? Can we get to 100, guys? Like, can we please? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'll return to re. This, this one seems like it's really hard. And you wonder why I bash on you for energy drink? Shake my head. Look. The one thing, though, is this is a regular Red Bull, and I usually drink the... Uh, what's it called? I drink the sugar-free ones because I don't like the carb and sugar content in this, but we're going to have to make do. It's only, what, 12.07? I have to coach today, too. I have to coach at 3. <coughs> Sorry if that was really loud. <laughs> the funny thing is my mom's on a meeting right now, and I'm, I probably just disturbed the hell out of that meeting. You feeling it now, Mr. Chow? There, I did it for stream. I did it for the stream. What the hell did he do? <laughs> bro, people in here are being like, this guy is so sus, bro. This guy is so sus. If you don't soundboard that, I, Sarah, we need to figure out how to get a soundboard going on the stream. That would be freaking hilarious. Yes, that's going to be the bot sound. I need to clip that. Red Bull, hmm. What do you coach? I coach uh, CrossFit. Okay, given the array nums consisting of two... Well, I don't know, understand... Because is... Hmm... He teaches my Little League team? What the hell? Brother, Little League's not even on. That shit's canceled. Return the array f in the form X. The length of nums is 2N. He always wanted to be a ballet dancer. I wanted to be a dancer. So N equals three. Because they're jacked. Two pointer problems, let's go. What does that mean, two pointer problems? Let's get him dance classes for his 24th. It's a hint, two pointer problems. Oh, two pointer problems. Two pointer problems. What's this man mean? It's a tip, I'm lost. I'm kidding, I'm sorry. Okay. Think about how the array is structured. Right. Mm. Point these for these dance lessons. I right, help Justin, but my brain is not gonna work for coding today. It's fine. Don't worry. I I'm like asking for minute, like minuscule help. Very, very minuscule help. Also, just go for it yourself. Just, that's just how I recognized it. What do you mean that's how you recognize it? Like, that's how you learned it? Or learned this, at least? Go, going at it by yourself? 
No, Will has always been balling with help. Like the type of problem. Oh, gotcha. Will's got that big brain. Will, how long have you been coding for? Six years now? Good God. If you can't college. Whew. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think I to... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So three turned into two. Oh wait, we're just moving it. Idiot. Um, you have a giant array, which technically two arrays if you were to split it. Oh, 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 wait, I think I'm onto it now. Hence my two pointer hint, but I'm like, I. Sarah, have you done these two? We are on the same grind right now, for sure. For real, for real, for real. Leak code or like like these like interview questions, I guess. Um Shout out to at Cody Faze at Manny Brands. Yeah, or Manny Bands. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up, Cody Pass? Pointer that points to the... What? Blowing my mind right now. Is this available to public? Yeah, this is free. Okay, chat, let's start with splitting it up into an X ray and Y ray. X ray and Y ray. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. One, two. Three. Oh! Oh! Okay, 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 wait. I understand now. I wasn't. I think I understand now. I, I wasn't getting what N was until now. I get it now. Okay, okay, okay. Understood, 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 understood. I think I get it now. But like, where is the two? One, two, three. Okay, but like what is like the basis on the sword here? What would be n? What would be n in this case? It would be three, right? In example one? 
Are you asking the value or its use case? So n is like how big x and y is, right? Like how many numbers are in um like the thing. So like in if n is equal to 3, so x is 1, 2 and 3. But so now two and it's sort it's shuffling but what is it it's not like it goes two dot n the number of elements is always twice n so if you have the size of the array you could split it up right Yes. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> oh man, oh man. I love uh, I love the struggle, but right now it's getting frustrating. Okay. Um Just Google split. Oh, wait, uh, okay. Splice, I think. <sighs> <laughs> Lee code just how did it crash your Mac? It's web based. So we're gonna can I so wait, let X equals would you do it this way so let x equals no nums nums dot split or splice sorry nums dot splice and from that so we start Streamlabs OBS was killing my Mac, so I'm here. I'm sorry, Ricky. I'm sorry. Did it actually crash your Mac? This is really entertaining. Okay, so the the first number is is where we insert. So would we say? N, no. Splice doesn't return a new array, careful. I really want to do this project with you. Split does, but not splice. Is this still JS? Yes. I will only use JS. Would I declare, would I declare? Didn't you try to learn Java last night? Yeah. Set that to both X and Y so you have a copy. What do you mean set set what to both X and Y? It was confusing, Sarah. It was really, really confusing. What's the difference between Leak Code and Code Academy? <clears throat> um 
Code Academy is just like it has curriculum for everything, and Leak Code is just for interview problems. Let x equals num. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Like, so it's a copy of nums. But you would do the same for y? Let y equals nums. Okay. So then we can say, so x dot splice, x dot splice, and we have to start at the very beginning, says x is first. I am back. What's up, Anthony? So how would we... Yeah, I have splice right here. Look at examples, remove one element at index three on that page. Three, remove el one element at index three. Starting at three, my fish is angel clown, and then we do Mandarin. Zero, one, two, three. All right, Zach, take care, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, right. Why am I not understanding this? So like how many exam- Oh! So we want to remove- So I know splice, right? Like this is the first one. Wait, don't post the solution. Don't post the solution. Don't post the solution. You, We want to remove the Y elements from the X array, right? And the X elements from the Y array. Oh. Hold on, let me... <laughs> uh, zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, one, two, three. Or one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two three, four. And that gets removed. Um, remove one element at index three. Okay, okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. What's up, Boosh? Okay, so right now, our 
N is three. So I, I understand that given this array, right? One, two, and three. One's got to go. One has to go, and that's what we want to get to. I'm just like figuring out, okay. We're going to say let shuffled. That's what we're going to do. Hold on. Okay. So we're going to say let shuffled equals x dot splice. We want to take out that third one. Let me read the docs again. Hold on. So Jan Feb one, two. Wait, what? Oh, this is the start? No, I know N minus one is gonna be in here somewhere. We wanna take out multiple. I'm preloaded cyberpunk today, so can't wait till Thursday. Dude, I bet. Uh, I'm losing my mind right now trying to like figure out these problems. Oh, so N minus three, right? We say N minus three as the start. And we want to take one item out of the array. Can I just do that? They call 1470 an easy. This shit is not easy. I wonder. So let me console.log it so I can see what's happening. Uh, shuffled. So I have two. Is that what I wanted? Two, five, one. Oh, whoops. I said N minus three. I'm an idiot. Okay, so now we have one. Okay. <sighs> so we have... So we have the one, which else, what else has to move? And the three has to move. Would Y be plus one? Look at remove zero elements before index two. And insert drum and guitar. Two, wait, before index two, and remove zero elements. No elements removed. Oh, would it work in... It's like... Okay, so... For... <laughs> So we're taking out one from the X. We can remove elements and and not insert instead. Okay, wait. Uh, what was I just on to right now? Hmm. So the thing that I was on to was oh fuck. 
So we're taking out one from X and then obviously we're gonna have to do the same thing for Y. So then we could insert, like, let's say we have, we have like X shuffled and Y shuffled, for example. Can we then say we want to insert X shuffle in the Y and then the Y shuffle in the X? Is that? Worry about splitting it into two arrays for now. Oh, wait. So then I can just take N, right? Because we want to take everything before it. Oh, shit. I submitted it. Whoops. <laughs> dumb, dumb. Okay, so I have, wait, what do I, what did I get? I got one, three, and four. Hold on. Yeah. If you're putting in solutions, don't do that. Why did I get one, three, and four? Because it starts... What happens if I move it around? N and N minus one. I have three and four. So this N would be my index, right? Three, but, oh, uh, so the minus one needs to be there. Minus one, so that's my index. I need to be N minus one, right? That's where I'm inserting. And then I remove N. But it's giving me that. <laughs> oh, I'm getting so frustrated with this. And plus one. No, it'd be four and seven. Is it just N? Three, four, and seven. Three and four. What happens if I just leave it to this? Wait, you had it? What? Which one was it? N and N? Or was it N minus one and N? Oh, is it just N? Can you do that? No. Oh, N and N. Wait, what? This is giving me the last half. Oh!
I don't know what I'm naming this, but uh, we're gonna see. Ah, uh, no, what is? Cause N is three, my. Three, insert at three, take out three elements. Insert at three, take out three elements. So you insert at. You want to start from zero index to three, yeah. <laughs> no, but you have to be Poseidon's. I feel like you need to be. So you have to take into account that not the number array can't isn't always like. Wait. How do I get to the start? Can I just put zero? Is zero valid in that case or is there a better way of doing that? Zero and N. Um, I need to do second. Two f oh, I mean, yeah, it works. Oh, okay. Your variable names kill me. No, I know. I just randomly came up with it. Um, I'm yeah, the, the, this is not be how I would actually name things. Trust me. It's just like this, is like the one thing X copy. Yeah. X copy. Y copy. Oh. You want to name this X copy. Name this Y copy. And then name this X. And name this Y. Okay. So I have what I need, but like... Now fix the splice. Huh? Oh. Um. I have an X array and a Y array. What do you want to do now? We're going to have to loop over them. Three. So what changed there? So two, five, one turned into two, three, five. So the first. How's the elite sesh going, bro? The elite sesh is, you know, it's going all right. I'm trying to finish this. It's about to be 1 p.m. Um, and I need to like eat and get ready for coaching, but like, I really want to finish this problem. I'm not going to like just stop right now. So like just start, just loop and print the values. Okay. So. Equals zero as long as uh, I is less than x dot length. Wanna I plus plus 
Are you using a Sure SM7B? Yes, I am. Um, okay. Uh, and then you want to, you said console.log uh, X I. We're going to take out this console log here for now. So three, four, and seven. Three, four, and seven. Okay, that means that makes sense. I just. <sighs> One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm reading something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm, uh, this one's two, five, and one. Three, four, and seven. So the answer is two. Y13? Oh! Oh, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I don't know why I didn't understand that at first. So we go X1, Y1, X2, Y to Yeah, okay. So we're looping over this. Do we create a new, we want to create a final array here, right? Yeah. Wait. Hold on, there's like so much going on in the chat right now. I'm like, I, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so. Let final r equals empty array. You create a new array with the size of the initial one and add the elements alternatively. Easy. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I'm like a complete nub when it comes to this stuff. I know nothing about computer science or anything. So then we take out Y I? You mean X Y? Oh no no no. So I know what you mean. So it would be I minus wait. Y I What the f- ah. 
No, I know they're both the same length. God. I'm like just trying to think. Again, like I, I just don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Would it be... Okay, hold on. Because I know we want to pull out... Five is two. What's my test case here? Two, yeah, it's this one. Hold on, hold on, don't, don't say this, don't say the solutions. Guys, 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 don't say the solutions. Don't say the solutions. I understand this is frustrating for some of you watching me do this. And I understand that like you want to help, but like I need to like figure this out on my own. Like, even if this is super easy to you, that's fine. I, it's not easy for me. So I need to really, really be in the thick of things and like try to understand what it is I'm trying to do here. But I understand. So like in this test case, right? In this test case, I'm pulling out X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Uh... Wait. Oh! <laughs> so it'd be I, I minus N, right? And then... No? Wait, hold on. I gotta scroll up and chat. I like how people are like scolding me for this. Um, yeah, D yeah, you're gone. See ya, bud. Uh, you don't say dumb shit like that here. Um... What were you saying, Will Part? You split them up. No, I know. Okay, um, I understand I split them up. They're both the same length. X zero. Wait, I don't hold on. <clears throat> I don't wait, Will. What would X zero be? X zero would be two, right? Y zero would be three. <sighs> My loop is going over each of those values, so you I mean, what is the start and stop of that loop? Zero and then the length of X or whatever the array is. Loop. 
So both are the same length. Wait, so will you just push like X, X, I and Y, I into the new array? Like, isn't that just it? I mean, like, I feel like I, I feel like I was thinking that, but also at the same time, I was just getting really confused. X, I, and then would I do a separate one? Or can I chain that? Can I do this? Oh, separate one? Final R dot push. Y, I? Okay. Three, two. F yeah, I'm learning web dev. Wait, what? Should it be? Is it? There you go. It was just backwards. Wait, why was that so hard? Why was I not understanding that? I'm actually really angry that I wasn't, I wasn't understanding that. I like I, I No, I know I, in normal circumstances I would definitely draw this out to like really really visualize it You have a lot going on I know I know I have a lot going on but like yeah typically I would have my like iPad just like write out my thoughts or like speak it out loud like I usually do right here I can't do that because like you can't see it obviously on stream, so I'm not going to do it, right? And yes, there's a lot of chat going on, like throwing out solutions and like all that stuff. What you should do instead next time is comment. Oh, true. Try to link up problems every day. That's what I'm probably going to be doing right now. Yeah, wait till Chow becomes a pr competitive programmer <laughs> instead of code immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I'll go expert. Do you like that better, Woody? Have you tried Leet Code as well? To be honest, I've never tried Leet Coding while chatting with randoms. No way I could focus. Props to you. So, like, you could comment this now, low if you want. No, I'm good. I think I understand it now, but it's just like... I mean, it makes sense now, right? You were telling me that, obviously, both X and Y are now the same... Are the same lengths yes conceptual overviews leak code is better let's view is an app that without splice you can only loop from wait okay hold on without the splice you can only loop from zero to n minus one and push nums and nums and push nums i and nums i plus n see yeah like right now when i say it out loud I somewhat understand what you're saying, but it also takes me a little bit. That's the two-pointer solution, basically. So pointing to the first half and second half. I mean, eventually I'll figure all of this out. 
So we get two copies. Uh, we get a final array that we push into that we return later. X is our initial pointer for the first half. Y is our uh, pointer for the second half. And from there, since we split, we can then loop over the both and take 0, 0, put it in, 1, 1, put it in, 2, 2, put it in. And then we're done once the array is all done. And the N was only there to make sure that we knew where we split it. Functions, nums, and let R equals array. 4, let I equals 0, uh, less than N. I plus plus, R dot push nums I. R dot push nums I plus N. Instead of splitting up, you would start at index zero and the other where you split basically is what te Okay, so well, this is gonna be Let me see if I can I can I erase all this? We're gonna erase all this. I submitted it already, so we're I just want to see that other solution. I need to write it out. Like I see it. I under I, I, I think I understand it. I think I understand it. Okay, we're just gonna do it. Um, so we're going to say let r equals empty array and from there we go immediately into a for loop. So let, let i equals zero. Okay. And then as long as i is less than n, then we increase i. And right now in our test case, n is three. So i is obviously less than three. So this thing's going to keep going. And then we say, what did he say? So r dot push r dot push nums wait what it oh. oh nums i and that stops at three so zero one yes so we get zero one two right so in this right here r dot push nums i for this at least since it's the the numbers at three, we only get two, five, and one, right? Is that fair to say? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Cool. So at least I understand that part. And then he goes in and says r dot push nums i plus n. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, I get it now. So then this one just takes in, sorry guys, I plus N. So then it just adds, so if it's zero, it adds three, and then we get that last half. It gets three, four, and seven. Oh, see like this just throws me off. Like the variables throw me off so heavy. Like, I'm sorry if it like that tilts you, but that, that threw me off. I like, it's again, it's hard to visualize like when looping over array, I understand it. It's hard for me to visualize it at this point in my, in my life, in this current juncture. <laughs> um, so now that makes sense. So now I can say like zero plus three and then that'll give me index three right so zero one two three so then i would be at oh well the third one here armand chill brother chill i'm trying to talk it out <laughs> yeah and then we return r Hopping to a meeting and have a good stream. Glad I can help a bit. Thanks, Will Par, for always coming through. Always coming through. Always coming through. Thank you. Thank you for helping out, my man. <laughs> yeah, that works. And submit. Impatience is strong with this group. Same time, a little bit of less memory. Runtime is the same.
Nice. Okay, that makes more sense. Like this, this bit right here. I'm glad you figured it out. Thanks, Shannon. Yeah, that was just like a, that was a mind boggler for sure. Damn, I want to do another one, but I know I can't. I have to get ready to coach. Wow. That was, oof. that was tilting, but I'm glad I got it. By the way, you can put both elements in the first push. You don't have to use two pushes. Just put both elements in the first push separated by, oh, really? You can do that? So let's do that. That looks right. Nice. Even better. Even better. Oh, look at that. Wait, that used more memory. <laughs> but the runtime was slower. Or, um, yeah, yeah, the runtime was faster. Sorry. Great work, man. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Dude, you did it. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's just like, like, I think the cool thing is that like, I'm now understanding this a lot more. Like the fact that I just solved like three questions today, three or four kind of blows my mind. Like last night I spent maybe three hours on one and now I'm able to finish three, um, with help obviously, but not easy to focus while the staff stuff on chat going on. Good one. Yeah. No, well, I'm not going to blame that. I'm not going to say that having the chat here distracted me, even though it did. Right? Like, even though it slightly did. I forget my binds. You have the mind for it. Thanks, David. Still, though, how can you make it even faster? How can you make it even faster? Uh, I don't know this moment in my life I don't know but yeah I'm starting to get the hang of it like I'm not gonna say like I was saying so I'm not gonna say that chat is like my excuse as to why I couldn't think I think regardless of the chat I would still have this problem can't wait for the next leak code stream bro good work thanks Anthony thank you thank you just think chat is the interviewer in the room and it, that's exactly what it's doing it's giving me pressure Yo, chat, what's up, Tiago? Using map? I don't know. Using the map method? Don't think you can make it faster, but you can do it using less memory with the solution in place that I posted above. So you don't need to use an extra way. Nice job. Nice, bro. Good job. Thank you. Uh, we were working on some leak code problems, uh, but I'm done now. I'm done now. It's 104. I have to eat. I have to get ready to coach today. So today was a good job. Today was good. I just want to thank literally everybody that came through that and helped out. Like this was fun. Looking for the next one. Good work. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, this was fun to watch. I'm glad it was fun to watch my pain, everybody. If you're if you like to watch my pain, then keep coming back to the to the stream because I'm literally painting through everything. How's that chair do you think about getting one? I love this thing. Got a bounce. Great stream as always. Thanks, Cody Pass. Or Lawrence, right? Lawrence is your name? I'm going to hop out. Got to hit the gym. Can't wait for the next one. All right, Daniel. Thank you for coming through and helping out. Was entertaining? Yes, sir. Always, always. But yeah, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you guys for coming through. Thank you guys for coming through and helping out. Um, But yeah, this is where we end. This is where we say goodbye for today. Tomorrow... Tomorrow is where we come back. Tomorrow's where we come back nice and strong. Tonight, I might even hop on stream again. Maybe on Twitch. Who knows? And do some more problems because I'm addicted low key. But yeah, thank you guys for coming through. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.